basically, uh, we're here with Arm. Uh, Arm is an IP provider for the, uh, uh, for the embedded market. Um, our primary uh, source of revenue comes from selling CPUs. A lot of people will be very familiar with the Arm processor. Um, what uh, people may not be quite so familiar with is the fact that we also sell GPU technology. So uh, here today we have uh, several, several different platforms which we're showing here. Um, this is a, a, one of our customer platforms from a, 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 semi, a, a fiber semiconductor company we're working with called Telechips. Um, this is a, a, like a, the generation of um, hardware that we'll be shipping um, this year and next year. Um, we'll also be showing later on in the week some, uh, some more advanced platforms which we'll be shipping next year. So this is kind of... Uh, from a CPU point of view, this is equivalent to um, uh, the type of hardware that's in the iPhone uh, 3G. Um, but as you can see, it still uh, packs quite a punch on the graphics side. Uh, and then later on in the week, we have platforms with uh, the latest generation of processors and the latest generation of GPU, which uh, is, is even more impressive. And this is the Mali 2? Mali 200. Mali 200. Something like NVIDIA's Tegra. Okay. Because I know that NVIDIA does use, I mean, they license your technology as well. Yes, they do. That's but right. I would imagine that Tegra is somewhat of a competitor to Mali. Um, yeah, we refer to them as cooperation. <laughs> cooperation. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, uh, they obviously license technology from us. Um, they're not in direct competition with ARM. Uh, ARM is an IP provider. We sell to several different, um, uh, several different uh, semiconductor companies. Um, in fact, we sell to most of the semiconductor yeah. industry. Um, uh, whereas, uh, you know, uh, Nvidia is a, a system, uh, a systems company, a chip company. So they compete with the people that we sell to. So we sell to them. They compete with people like TI, Qualcomm, um, uh, and that, uh, uh, people in that kind of arena. So we kind of view them as. Um, they're, they're not competition to us, but we, we, we keep an eye on what they're doing. <laughs> okay, and what do you think of, um, of Tegra compared to, I mean... This is, the Tegra system itself is pretty impressive. Um, uh, the, the Tegra 2 system, um, yeah, yeah, some kudos there, but yeah. We, we, we hold our own against these things as well, and uh, uh, the one thing that uh, we do that um, uh, and we know, it, uh, you know and the, uh, some of the traditional graphic suppliers have actually found difficult is um, uh, IP looks easy. You know, you just bundle up a design and sell it to someone, and you sell it to as many people as you possibly can. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, uh, Arm has a, a lot of experience in the IP arena. We've been doing it for a number of years. In fact, we pioneered the IP, um, the IP process uh, and selling uh, high-end technology as, as pieces of IP block and how to support that through, uh, through silicon to bring up uh, people's chips and then supporting that through the software ecosystems. So we have a lot of experience in this area. It's not something we're, we're just coming to or something that was a new idea. Um, we're actually pretty experienced. So that's, that's kind of um, where we went out versus uh, uh, NVIDIA, but uh, you know, NVIDIA buys technology from us. We make, uh, we make a decent living from uh, some of the revenue we <laughs> generate from NVIDIA as well, so uh, we consider them a partner. So let's talk about someone who's really not your partner, which is Intel. Okay. Um, so I have to be careful what I say. No, I've just rejoined Arm from Intel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from Intel. Um, but... Um, obviously, Intel thinks that they've got a pretty decent solution now for handheld devices and for portable devices. They were talking about MIDs for a really long time, and I know that's something that, that Arm sort of laughs off because you guys say that you know mobile devices should be internet connected by default, and that it's not a feature. Yeah. Um, but so now you've got you know you've got graphics solution, you've got processor. Does Intel even stand a chance in this industry, as far as you're concerned? I mean. What's, there's a lot of things happening in the industry at the moment, uh, which nobody re can really call a, um, uh, make a good call on uh, whether who's going to win, who's going to win out. You know, um, Intel always re represents an interesting piece of competition. Um, uh, we, we respect all our competitors, and uh, we, we take anybody who, who considers themselves to be uh, in competition with us very seriously, and we keep an eye on it. Um, who will win? Who knows? Um, the reality is ARM has a very strong presence in the mobile device industry that we've built up over a very long period of time. And uh, the mainstay of, uh, of uh, uh, why people still look to ARM is our innovation in uh, low power, high performance technology. And it's really the ability to understand everything from the system point of view, to be able to leverage high performance in a CPU but still maintain the low power game.
Thanks very much for that. Okay.